Welcome to 137 East Market Street, home of the York County Bar Association and Bar Foundation. My name is Suzanne Greist. I am a secretary for the foundation and former president of the association. And this is Dean Dominic. He is currently the president-elect of the association. Since there are too many of you to bring into the building today, we thought we would bring the building to you. Come on in. You know, this building was not always entered by lawyers. The building was originally built in approximately 1900 as the personal residence of Eli Free Grove, who was the Southern Pennsylvania District Manager for Singer Sewing Machine Company. It later became a doctor's office. Yes, S. Ira McDowell had his uh, physician's uh, offices in this building until 1968 when he sold it to Richard H. Horn. Uh, Richard Horn had his law offices in here until approximately 1989 when he was elected uh, to serve as a York County Court of Common Pleas judge. And at that time, the Bar Association and Bar Foundation bought the building from Judge Horn. It then took approximately three years to renovate the building until we were able to move in. The first floor of the building serves as the uh, offices for the staff of the Bar Association and the day-to-day -day operations of the organization. The, uh, this room here is our reception area and if you take a look around the room you'll see a lot of classic uh, signs of the Victorian architecture that was uh, typical of the day when this was built. You can see along the top of the walls there are frescoes also around the top of the ceiling there's a fresco and the woodwork around the fireplace including the ceramic tiling around the fireplace is all indicative of the period. When the renovations of the building were underway, the association decided to request donations from members of the legal community. Throughout the building there are plaques that honor those that made specific donations for the renovations. For example, in our entry room here you'll see that the front office was donated by Stetler and Griffin. And we'll show you other uh, plaques as we go on through the building. One of the other rooms in the downstairs is the administrative office. As you can see, there's a continuation of the Victorian architecture in the fireplace and the bowed uh, window, as well as the uh, bookcase. This, off, uh, this room was uh, done in honor of Barley Snyder, Seneff, and Cohen. And we wanted to point out to you that the Bar Association on a biannual basis does a performance at York Little Theater. The uh, attorneys, approximately 40 of them, known as the Barstools, have done productions for the last uh, 10 years on a biannual basis. On the wall, you'll see pictures commemorating at least four of the performances done by the Barstools. We're now in the executive director's office. When this building was originally renovated by the association, this room was known as the library. And that's why you'll see the plaque indicates that the library was donated in memory of Basil Shorb by his children. Two of Basil Shorb's children are attorneys here in the York County Bar Association and are very active in the association and the foundation. Uh, in this room, we have a few photographs of the history of the Bar Association and you'll see throughout the building we try to honor the history of those that came before us in the association. In the early days of the association when it was much smaller there was an annual picnic that was held and these photographs as you uh, can see are from uh, the early 1900s and are photographs of uh, various picnics that were held. This room like the others you've seen also shows the classic architecture of the period again with a beautiful tile fireplace with a cast iron cover as well as the decorative uh, woodwork around the shelving. As we transition from this room to the next, you'll see on the wall here a few composites of members from years gone by. If you take a look, perhaps you might recognize a few. Perhaps you will notice Jane Alexander. 
She was one of the first female members of the bar and remained the only active practicing female of the member of the bar for years and years. You may also recognize the person we're honoring this evening who wrote the book, Jeff Bortner. We also have uh, W.B. Anstein, who is the parent of Bill Anstein, a, a, a practicing member of our bar at this time. Uh, the Honorable H.B. Cohen was a former uh, Supreme Court Justice of Pennsylvania, and uh, Emmanuel A. Casamatis was a judge on the York County Court of Common Pleas. Uh, he also has been highly recognized for his contributions uh, advancing the rights of the children in the Commonwealth. William Hoffmeyer is still an active member of the Pennsylvania Bar Association and our local bar association. We have Richard P. Knoll, and he established a uh, scholarship for uh, law students, which is given out on an annual basis. Very colorful member of the bar, I might add. We also have Wilson H. Oldhauser III. We have my father, Russell Greist, another colorful member of the bar. And W.D. Vetter, Jr., who is retired, but his two sons, Clyde Vetter and Chris Vetter, are still very active members of the bar. Basil Shorb, as we mentioned uh, previously, uh, Judge John Rawhauser, and our former district attorney, Harold N. Fitzke, Jr. And finally, the person who owned uh, this building, Richard H. Horn. We're now in a room that's called the administrative office. When this building was originally renovated, this room was the executive director's office. It's now used as a small conference room for executive committee meetings as well as smaller committee meetings. This room houses what we believe to be the oldest composite that the Bar Foundation has and the Bar Association has, which you'll see behind me. And this is from, we believe, 1902. And on this composite, you'll see two people uh, of renown. There are many more, but two I'll point out. The first is Jeremiah Sullivan Black. Uh, he is known in perpetuity here. We have an award that is uh, presented to members of the Bar Association who make a donation to the foundation, uh, and they receive the Jeremiah Sullivan Black Award. We chose uh, Attorney Black as our um, moniker for the award because of his history. He was a Supreme Court Justice for the Supreme Court of Pennsylvania. He served as the United States Attorney General under President Buchanan, and President Buchanan later appointed him to the United States Supreme Court. Also on this composite, you'll see George Hay Kane. Uh, George's family has been generational lawyers here in York. I believe that there are five generations of Canes now that have been members of the York County Bar Association. In addition to the wonderful woodwork, moldings, and fireplaces that we've shown you downstairs, we're now back at the front of the building and we're going to take you upstairs where the actual members use the building and we're going to show you the meeting rooms and CLE rooms and other activities of the Bar Association and Foundation. As you're coming up the stairs, please take note again of the beautiful woodwork from the period. The first room we want to show you on the second floor is the small conference room used for depositions and in this room we want to uh, point out the painting of Frank Boyle who is the only member of the York County Bar Association who has served as president of the Pennsylvania Bar Association. The renovations in this room were made possible uh, by the generosity of uh, the law offices of Dale E. Einstein. We're now in the boardroom. This room probably gets used more than any other room in the building by members. It's used for larger depositions and also for many committee meetings. Uh, this room houses one of uh, what I think is one of the Bar Association's most prized possessions. You'll see between Suzanne and I is this sculpture of an, uh, a bird carrying a fish. Uh, this was made by one of the Golden Venture refugees uh, while in prison um, 
It's made entirely of paper, and it was made as a thank you uh, to several members of the Bar Association who provided legal services to the refugee who made it and many other refugees to help them uh, be released from jail. Uh, also in this room, we have a picture of the current members of the York County bench. The renovations to this room were made possible through a donation by Countess Gilbert Andrews, as they're recognized on the plaque. Also, you'll notice next to the plaque is the door to the hallway, and above the doorway is a transom, which is typical of the Victorian period. The final room in our tour is the Continuing Legal Education Room. The renovations to this room were donated graciously by the law firm of Stock and Leader in honor of McLean Stock and Henry Leader. In this room is where the Bar Association Board and the Bar Foundation Board meet, as well as where we conduct all our continuing legal education seminars. This is also the room where we honor the Jeremiah Sullivan, Sullivan Black Award recipients, as we mentioned before. As you look around the room, you'll note that it may appear a bit unfinished because there's one very long wall with nothing on it. The renovation of the Bar Center has been an ongoing process, and one of the final things that we are doing with this room is completing that wall. I'm pleased to say that the Bar Foundation has recently commissioned one of our association members, who is also a photographer, to take photographs of various areas of interest around all of York County to be placed on that wall in a very artful and framed format. So we're looking forward to having that done. Perhaps someday, once that's done, you'll come back and visit us and see those for yourself. The last thing we'd like to show you in this room is the plaque behind Suzanne and I. This plaque is in recognition of members of the Legacy Society. The Legacy Society consists of people who have made donations through their wills to the York County Bar Foundation Endowment Fund. The Endowment Fund is used to supply grants to various community ag agencies, including Central Pennsylvania Legal Services, the Pennsylvania Immigration and Resource Center, um, and the Diversity uh, Initiative and Truancy Initiatives through the Bar Association, among many other things. Uh, we hope that maybe one day we can see your name up on this plaque as we do our honoree tonight, Jeff Bortner. On behalf of Suzanne and I, I thank you for taking this tour with us. Please feel free to come by someday and see the association building in person. Thank you.